Hi, I'm Kaden Gray and this is Tina Legit. Put your phone down. <laughs> Welcome to uh, part two of our uh, chat about gender stereotypes. Uh, tangent about gender stereotypes. Oh, uh, what? Tangent. Okay. I know you, you dropped out of maths, but we have a circle and a line. Don't you? It's a circle like this. It's called a tangent and you compare that to when you go off topic. It's just... <laughs> Give me my phone. Stop it. We're doing something very important. We're saving the world today. Get off my beer. She's drinking a beer. And that's not because I don't like... Do you like rosé? No. Okay, well, I'm a cliché. I like red wine, <laughs> but I didn't want to have wine lips at 2 p.m. If that gets on your on your teeth, it might because it's a good lipstick. Ooh, a lesbian with a good lipstick. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> it was bought for me for my birthday. Okay, Otherwise, that makes, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, yeah. do you want more beer? Mm -hmm, yes, please. It is now half three on a Tuesday. Yeah, it's the biggest night for lesbians in the week. It's Ruby Tuesday. Well, then she has an excuse. I, I have I'm, an just, agenda. I'm just a good old drunk. <laughs> Why don't I give you an extra cushion? Yeah. Right, okay, so we're we back. Stick We've refilled. That's a good idea. Keep the I don't know if it's the same in the lesbian community, but a lot of gay guys don't aren't friends with lesbians and a lot of gay gay guys when they say lesbian, they like it's like saying I invited <laughs> Satan. Yeah. It's like the worst thing, like yeah. And I think it, what what it might be is that we're not into the same people and we're not the same gender, so maybe we just don't cross paths so much. But we did. Well, so yeah, we cross we paths in clubs, but we normally resent each other being there. Like, you see, so you agree yeah. that yeah, there's a yeah, lot yeah. of hostility, right? Especially with um, lesbians, I think are even more hostile towards men than uh, gay men than gay men are towards lesbians. Like when. There's a gay man, because uh, lesbian venues are like much fewer and they're normally smaller spaces because yeah, they, don't they don't let make me as in. much money. They won't let you in because they're protecting you from the angry lesbians that are inside. The venue I go to a lot is like 80 people max in the venue. So when there's like one guy there, the lesbians are like, for God's sake, I came here to meet women and there's this guy here and I don't feel, like, I don't feel comfortable with him being in my space. And when they figure out that you're gay, they, they normally like, they get softer towards you, but still. A queer couple is like, queer male and female couples that go there for like threesomes or that kind of stuff like we've had to kick out people from the venue before because they're literally like trying to recruit searching yeah yeah literally and it's like some people just want to have a good time and they want to escape the game you know? <laughs> huh? you grind it yeah we don't have grinder so leave our clubs alone right? <laughs> <laughs> You know, earlier when you were talking about how lesbians are more hostile to, towards gay men, that brings me to something else I wanted to ask you. you have you heard of penis envy? <laughs> yes. It's a psychosexual stage that Freud developed. Freud, yeah, yeah. Um, and he claimed that females feel anxious towards the missing part. Do you think? No. You don't no, think that applies? Think, no, not at all. I think uh, Freud's right about some things. I think I just don't agree with. Like. It's not like they had something we didn't have. I was brought up thinking I wasn't missing anything. Well, you, you, you I had something, have something. different. <laughs> I had two things that y'all didn't have. No, um, uh, I think it's. I, I heard. I think it was in a film. I can't remember what film, but it was like men have penis envy. Like they're forever. They're obsessed with it. Women aren't. Like women can give two shits about your dick. <coughs> Like, men always like, oh, That's what I've heard, which big. I find it hard to believe. Yeah, like, you compare sizes, you're like, whoa. Like, even yeah. lesbians could care less about penises. Straight women couldn't either, like, I, well, you I think eye over your penis? Well, I would be surprised if you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're you've so seen modest. it. <laughs> no! Well, this is the one thing I know that I, like, they nailed. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Let's get back to our Yeah, penis, I don't think it's a thing, especially not when I... Can wear a penis whenever I want to. 
I do think that men envy other men and get insecure mm -hmm. about dick size. And that, that's regardless whether you're straight or gay. Well, that's the thing. Like, most of the conversations I've had with girls, like, they would admit, in bed, it doesn't really matter. Uh, most, anyway. Too much about size, Unless as long as you know what you're doing. One way or yeah, another. exactly. I mean, if it's an inch, like, yeah, fair enough. But <laughs> all you really need is about four oh, inches. Come on, be inclusive. <laughs> Some people aren't Some people watching this right now, but seriously, like, we'll get, get a strap on. <laughs> get a hollow strap on. Well, I don't think straight women too much care about size as long as it's not like ridiculously one way or the other like if they had a 10 inch dick like ouch or if they had like nothing there to work with yeah but normally it's well, yeah, 10 it's... inches okay maybe not i don't know, I don't know. I don't... see penises well you see that's the that's the thing because i like a big dick and i think a lot of gay guys even though you they may not agree mm -hmm. a lot of us are size queens size but queens. some people that have the size dick that you want do they know how to use it properly true but well the truth is the penis is only one part of the whole thing mm -hmm, exactly. if someone has a big dick but is like is a pillow princess mm -hmm. fuck that shit pillow prince pillow prince i actually don't like being feminized either although i i do believe i call you girl all the believe. time yeah hey girl i off huh <laughs> you're literally like the topics we were nearly nearly on like, okay, well, we, let's get back to it. Yeah, so, yeah. I would say I've never had that problem, but I actually used to think I had a small dick. Because when I was growing up, I had uh, this girlfriend who, um, when we started playing, the only thing she ever said about my dick was that her ex had a bigger one. Oh. So for years on end, until I started seeing boys, and I, I was with her for four and a half years, mm -hmm. then I started seeing guys, and I my dick isn't that massive. But that, that from those reactions, I realized that I, I, I actually ranked it wasn't small. a lot higher than I thought. Do you think being gay inspired you to look outside of the box and just learn more about what you want rather than what society expects you to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it allows a lot of you, especially when you're also surrounded by people that are the same. Like I was obviously out I in different areas, key. and when I moved to London and was around these crazies in Soho, I was like, oh god, and I, I knew a lot of people that worked in the sex So you feel comfortable here then? Yeah, I was like, oh god, <laughs> they're giving me tips, like, when I went to borrow my, um, my strap on, this girl that was working, I was like, stick a bullet in, because it's a hollowed one, just like, put a bullet in there, and then it acts like a vibrator, and it's just so easy to talk about sex here, whereas where I'm from, like, and even with my best friend back home, actually, like, she's quite open as well, but some friends are just like, they want to know and then you kind of start the conversation and they're like, no, 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 oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get that a yeah, lot, actually. Yeah, yeah. I feel so inadequate sometimes. It's like, like well, I'm, I'm an open book. I'll tell you exactly what I'm <laughs> And I'm like that as well. I like walk around naked and people are uh -huh. like, yeah. again, you're naked again. Like, yeah, just... please. Do you want a compliment? Is this what it is? But it isn't. That's the thing. I just want to like, it's taken me a long time to be comfortable sexually mm. and it's like taken many different things. I don't think it's just porn, but uh, through the, the, the sexual revolution provided us with a peek into other people's uh, private business. Mm -hmm. Private, I sound like I'm really like a prude. Like uh, private parts. <laughs> private parts. No, and, and yeah, look at my private that parts. makes us compare um, ourselves to other people. Exactly. I think the porn industry is great for some ways because it's, uh, it's allowed, yeah, it's. There's less shame attached to certain sexual acts, but there's these perfect bodies, so it does make you. That's what I mean. Yeah, yeah, you're right, totally. Yeah. And obviously, the guys who like, the guys who have bigger dicks will top more often, and that's that's like a domination thing. Mm -hmm. So then, I know for a fact because I've experienced it myself. A lot of guys, gay guys, are feeling inferior. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. and they think they have to bottom. If yeah. they're more feminine, they they'll think, oh, I have to be a bottom. I've never talked like no, it's weird. People message me saying, "Oh, I saw your bottom. It's so weird seeing your bottom." You're like in my mind, you just you're a top, as if, as if anything denotes your ability or urge to either fuck or be fucked. Right. Right. Like. Yeah. Should just be versatile. Yeah, but a lot of. I guess maybe you're breaking their sexual fantasy, like because you are a character. Maybe they like this idea of you just being like. Get up. Because I've had like, yeah. I've met people. I'm sure. Because yeah. I've met I just people, don't I, like... get their, I get to know their personality. And I'm like, wow, I bet you're going to be so aggressive. And then they show a soft side, and I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. 
No. Yeah, I think, I guess it's magnified with porn, but I think I have my own sex life that's unrelated to to the jobs I do in porn because obviously people cast me to play a certain character, dominant top, whatever. I hardly ever play like a, you know, nice lovey character. Maybe because I just look evil or maybe because I'm a dick. Um, or maybe because I'm just such Are a Are you waiting actor. for me to disagree because it's not No, I, was, I wanted for you to say no because you just... You're such a Just confident actor. Just you have such actor. a huge dick. But that's all I wanted to hear, really. You can tell you're a porn actor. That's very insulting, by the way. Uh, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Although, you know what? This hat, right? Which is just something our Garcon models sent me. I picked it from a list of things. And it's, I agree, I mean, it's a porn hat, isn't it? It's like a, I don't know, Ibiza is circuit party okay, hat. Okay, Ibiza. You know what I, I mean? Ibiza. Yeah, someone said, Oh, that's such a porn hat, and I was like, but... <laughs> but I like it. I definitely see Ibiza in it. We're going off again. In porn? No, yes, we are, but I'm <laughs> going to cut that out. This is really interesting. When you grow up in a society that isn't talking about gender and isn't embracing everybody, you are confused as to who to be. I thought I needed to be a girl. I wrote a letter to him in which I said that I'm gonna change sex and we're gonna run away together. Even when I had a girlfriend there, they would still call me a faggot. Don't be scared, because he's not gay. He just likes to dance. So what if he was gay? Can we not let boys dance? And we cannot let them be gay? I was dancing to Britney Spears instead of going to school. It doesn't matter whether you like wearing your mom's shoes. I'm wearing more makeup than you. Can you tell? Wherever you are on the spectrum of gender, it's fine. 